I'm uh, Paul Askew. I'm the chef patron and the owner of the Art School Restaurant and the Art School Cellars. So the Art School Restaurant is coming into its eighth year now. This will be our eighth Christmas coming up. We were in uh, concert land. Uh, we're right behind the Philharmonic Hall and next to the Everyman Theatre and the Unity Theatre, the two cathedrals. It's, we're sort of in the, the cultural and dining quarter, we call it. It, it's a gastronomic restaurant. We do three different menus. Uh, we do a taste, seven-course tasting menu and wine flight. We do menu excellence, which is a choice menu, and then we do a prefix, which is lunch and early evening. We're very proud of where we are and, and, and we're very proud to show off the local ingredients, the local people, but we also like to show off our international connections. Uh, we have a very cosmopolitan brigade. We've always employed people from the European Union and unfortunately uh, during Covid a lot of our Spanish, French, Italian, Eastern European cousins went back to see their families during that moment of crisis. Then of course we had travel restrictions that stop them from returning freely because of quarantine etc and then unfortunately the most recent uh, barrier which has cropped up is of course the, the change in immigration law through Brexit. It, it's at a time when hospitality is desperate to employ staff and, and, and people who are highly qualified and who understand hospitality and food culture um, and we just can't do that at the moment. The, what the government need to do is firstly look at some sort of hospitality visa or, or, or a reversal of immigration law in terms of uh, hospitality professionals. Qualified people, they're not low skilled, they're not de-skilled, they're not you know, plate carriers and, and bottle washers. These are people who have gone to university or college to get a qualification who are food culture specialists. When I put an advert out for positions in the restaurant now, normally we would get 20, 30, 40, 50 applications. A lot of those would be Spanish, French, Italian, Polish, uh, Latvian, whatever from, from Europe. Uh, people who have hospitality qualifications or degrees or, or sommelier qualifications or speciality things that you don't see that often in the UK. And of course now we're, we're lucky if we get two or three applications and it's just, it's been absolutely impossible, honestly. To, since we reopened on May 17th, uh, after the restrictions were lifted, it's just been uh, really, really difficult. So we, we've, we've tried to bring in some apprentices, um, which we've now done, but even the colleges are struggling as well. So but that is the genuine situation. Literally at the moment there is not one thing that doesn't have a barrier attached to it, or two barriers or three barriers. It's, it's like being caged you know, like that, you just can't, can't move. It's, it's literally concrete wellies, you know, it's just, it's, it, I've never known a thing, you, you, you could not script it, you know, the award winning novelists would have a, have a job coming up with this one. <laughs> it's just absolutely bonkers.